This is just a really unique and amazing place to work. I love that I get to work with our residents and our fellows and our medical students every day, and I get to work with our patients and our referring physicians. Sometimes people think of radiology as just sitting alone in a dark room, and that's really not the case, especially at some place like Siteman, where we're really involved in trying to help answer questions. Um, someone comes in with, with a lump or something, and we're trying to figure out, is, is it cancer? Is it not cancer? Or someone's had treatment, and we're trying to decide, has it responded or not? You know, as it, it a radiologist at a place like this, we actually design the type of images that need to be collected. So every brain MRI that we do is a little bit unique and a little bit different and tailored to that individual patient. And that's something that, that doesn't always happen when um, a radiologist is out in private practice or in the community and it's more one size fits all. So I, j I just love this personalized approach that we get to do. My clinical specialty is neuroradiology, um, but one of the roles I play at the hospital is I'm the medical director for MRI. So MRI is one of our major imaging modalities. We can image um, anything you know, from the head to the toe with MRI, and it's one of our best ways to image cancer. Um, it gives us a chance to see uh, where a cancer is located, but in addition to where it is, with MRI, you can get at what we call physiology. So I can measure things like blood flow to a tumor. Um, we can look at things like um, how connections work in the brain. So we do things like, that are called functional MRI where we can actually see how the brain is talking to itself. And if somebody has a, a tumor that's interrupting that communication, we can map out where those are. And our surgeons use that as part of their planning when they're going to remove a tumor. So MRI is just a, a really, really interesting technology. The biggest thing that I, I think is happening right now in terms of um, imaging and cancer treatment and how that comes together is really around this concept of the immune system and finding new ways to, to get imaging of um, not just where the tumor is, but how is the body fighting the tumor? Um, how are these tools working and um, how is it coming together? And I think that's, uh, that's an important breakthrough that we're, we're just starting to see the beginning of. Um, I anticipate in you know, five years, 10 years, um, we're going to be able to track specific immune cells through the body as they fight different diseases and tumors. Um, it's just, it's a really incredible edge of where we are right now. As a doctor here, I, I see patients that are treated here, um, but i am also been a family member of patients here. So my mom was actually a patient here at Barnes Jewish from the time really that I was in college. Um, because she was one of our first and earliest liver transplant patients. And she came through the hospital that way. Um, and later in life, she developed cancer. Um, and when she developed cancer, she was a patient here at Siteman. And um, I was able to see how the multidisciplinary care teams came together around her care. One thing I could see going through the experience with my mom is that sometimes when you're in your doctor's office um, and your doctor's talking to you, you're, you're getting that communication, but you may not realize all the other conversations that your doctor's having with the other members of the care team. And as, as a doctor working here, I could see those other parts of it and explain that to her. It's crazy, but I would, I would walk down the hall and doctors I didn't even know would start talking to me about my mom and her care, and I realized these were these are there's so many people that are engaged at every level. Mm -hmm.